called the belt of truth. God wants us to have truth. Does anybody know what truth is? No. What's truth? Do you have an idea? No. 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 It's Annika's turn. I called on her. Thank you. It's like when we, when, when, when you tell your mom you did, you did something, and that, that was dangerous for you. But you told her the truth. You told her the real thing, right? Yeah. So if it's true, it means it's not fake. It's not a lie. God wants us to always tell the truth, and he wants us to do things that are good and true. So Peyton, you need a belt of truth. So she's got her belt of truth right here. That's the first piece of her armor. Can I put this around your waist? There we go. It's got to be nice and cool. secure so that you have truth all the time, okay? So she's got piece one. What is it? Truth. 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 The belt of truth. Can you say it with me? The belt, belt of, of truth. truth. Okay. Now, number two is called a breast plate of righteousness. That's kind of weird. But a breastplate is something that protects your chest right here. And righteousness, that's kind of a weird word too, but if you have righteousness, you are right with God. Can you say that with me? Righteousness, right with God. So we want to be right with God, right? We want to be doing things that he wants us to do. So we're going to put on Peyton's breastplate of righteousness. Are you ready? Check that out. Can you put your arms through there? That's going to protect her right here. She is right with God if she has righteousness. Pretty cool. And then we need something for our feet. And God wants us to always be ready to tell people about him. So we're going to have feet that are fitted with readiness. You gotta always be ready to go out and tell people about how much God loves them and about how good he is and about how he has a plan for everybody. You okay? These are kind of funny. And these are actually on her shin, so I don't really get it, but they're supposed to be like your shoes. <laughs> so she's got feet that are always ready to tell people about how much God loves them and about what he's done for us. And we can tell people about Jesus. What did Jesus do for us? He died on the cross. He died on the cross for us. That's right. That showed a lot of love, huh? He died for our sins. So she's got a belt of truth, truth a breastplate of righteousness, and feet fitted with readiness. But I said we have six things, so we have a few more. She also needs a shield, something to put up to protect her. And God says we can have a shield of faith. Do you guys know, know what faith is? Faith, that's kind of a hard one. Faith, I mean, if you have faith in God, that means that you trust in him, you believe in him, no matter what. Even when other people tell you that it's not true or God's not real, can we still believe in him? Yes. Because we know what yes. the Bible tells us. We know that God is the real deal. So, Peyton, we got your shield Whoa. of faith right here. Look at that thing. You can hold that in your own. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, you are looking right. good. Uh -huh. So she's got her belt of truth, truth her breastplate of righteousness, righteousness, her feet fitted with readiness, readiness, and her shield of faith. We got two more. Let's see. I think she needs something on her head. What can you put on a head for your head to keep it safe? A what was that, Kingston? A helmet. a helmet. So we need a helmet of salvation. That's a big word. But helmet of salvation just means that we trust God to save us from all the bad choices that we've ever made. Just like you said, Jesus died on the cross for our sins to take them all away. That's how he saves us. So when we put on our helmet of salvation, that's what we're doing, can you see? <laughs> You're looking good, Peyton. All right, we have one more thing. And this one is the one that you guys usually like the most. <laughs> how did you know? Whoa, somebody was speaking ahead. Okay. We 
have one last thing. Let's look over them again. We have the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, feet fitted with readiness, shield of faith, and helmet of salvation. We have one more, and it is the sword of the spirit. But do you think it's a real sword that you're going to go out and whack around? No. 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 What it is? The sword. Yes. It's the Bible. The sword of the spirit means that we read the Bible and we have the spirit inside of us. And everything that's in the Bible, we can use. We can learn from it to learn about ourselves and the kind of people that God wants us to be. We can learn how to make good choices and how to know what's right and what's wrong. So that's how we use our sword of the spirit. So you ready, Peyton? Here you go, my lady. And she has her full <laughs> armor of God. Let's say all the pieces. The belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, feet fitted with readiness, Shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and sword of the spirit. There's lots of different pieces, but look how much God has given us to be protected, to keep ourselves safe, and to make sure that we are always doing what God wants us to do. Do you guys think you can wear some of these things? Yeah. Yeah. It's not like real armor, right? But it's, it's things that we can put in our minds and in our hearts to always make good choices. And I know you guys can do it. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm glad that we could learn a little bit together. But I think right now we probably need to sing some songs. And I think in order to do that, we need to bring out one of our favorite people. Who do you guys want to come sing some songs with us? Yeah, let's bring them on out. Come on.
Because I have 